ITA for telling my wife that my life would be easier without her. My wife Anne and I have been married for 13 years. I am 43 and she is 46. We do not have children. When we first began dating, nobody could make me happy like Anne. She always seemed to know exactly the right thing to say to me when I was feeling low. But over the past decade or so, she has started to reveal more of her true nature. And a lot of what her ex-husband said to me about her has begun to make more sense. For example, I have a very high-pressure job. People bring me challenges and I resolve them. But when I get home most of the time and just has more issues to throw onto my plate, she doesn't work, so she's free to do whatever she needs to resolve those problems during the day. Lately, she has even started making lists of things she expects me to do after a full day of work. But my biggest issue with and is that I can't ever truly confide in her. Whenever I talk about something negative that happened to me, she'll either try to outdo my experience or agree with the person who caused me trouble. Last Friday, I had a terrible day. There was a huge issue at work that all landed on me to fix. To work, while I was crossing the street with the right of way, a bicycle ignored the red light and sideswiped me. The cyclist yelled insults at me and then rode away. I considered calling the authorities because it was technically a hit and run, but I doubted they could do much about it. When I got home feeling drained, I told and what had happened. She listened and then immediately sided with the cyclist. I reminded her that the cyclist ran through a red light, to which she responded that cyclists aren't always required to stop. When I told her she was mistaken and tried to move on from the conversation, she began frantically searching the laws online. She found that in our state, cyclists can treat traffic lights like stop signs under certain conditions. She then proudly read the law to me, getting louder as I tried to tell her that I wasn't interested. At the end of her lecture, she gave me a smug look as if she had proven herself right. I just stared at her for a moment and told her that my life would be easier without her. She became extremely upset, yelled at me until her voice gave out, and then packed a bag and left to stay with her parents. She has been texting me all weekend, demanding an apology, but I haven't responded. Did I do something unforgivable here?